discoveries in gene sequencing are moving out of the laboratory and into the hands of medical professionals, changing the way healthcare delivery works. These new innovations are capable of giving scientists and doctors the information they need to find patterns that make a person unique or that cause or contribute to cancers and other serious diseases. Until now, doctors and scientists lacked the powerful analytical tools needed to make sense of this vast amount of genetic information, human biology's big data. But now researchers at the New York Genome Center and IBM are working together to harness the power of Watson, IBM's cognitive computing system, to help doctors discover the best treatments for individual cancer patients and offer a much more personalized approach to treatment. Here's how the system will work in trials. A doctor tells a patient that he has a hard-to-treat cancer and explains what will come next. Tissue samples from the patient's tumor are sent to a lab, where DNA from cancerous cells and normal cells are extracted using chemicals and a centrifuge. The DNA is fed into a sequencing machine at the New York Genome Center. The machine examines short snippets of DNA, labels the individual components, and assembles the snippets into the patient's complete genome drawing essentially a digital map of his genes. By comparing the patient's genome with reference information created by the Human Genome Project, New York Genome Center bioinformatics scientists and their colleagues within the center's network can identify the gene mutations that are causing the cancer. Meanwhile, the patient receives a conventional treatment involving a combination of chemotherapy and radiation. The goal is to at least arrest the growth of the cancer. Here's where Watson comes in. New York Genome Center scientists will work with partner institutions to feed the system with the patient's genomic data, his electronic medical records, pharmacological information, and medical literature related to his disease. At the same time, using other tools, scientists map the impact of the gene mutations on the patient's body chemistry, the cause and effect trail of his cancer. They feed this information into Watson as well. The review board, led by the doctor, meets to consider the patient's case. As part of their deliberations, they ask Watson for recommendations about what drugs might interrupt the signals in the patient's body chemistry that are causing his cancer. Watson makes suggestions in rank order of its confidence. After weighing all the evidence, the board members choose an experimental treatment they believe has the best chance of addressing the cancer. The doctor meets with the patient and informs him of the board's recommendation. The patient consults with his family, and after thinking over the potential risks and rewards of the treatment, tells the doctor that he wants to proceed with it. The patient gets an experimental cancer treatment. Thanks to advances in genome sequencing and analysis, he has a chance to extend his life. This initiative marks the beginning of a new era in cancer treatment. For the first time ever, a large number of people with difficult-to-treat cancers will get access to treatments custom-designed for them. And it serves as an example of how computer science and medicine are teaming up to give patients more personalized care and a new hope for treatment and cure.